Well, I don't want to just throw it in the garbage can. I know some of you are like, ah, oh, just throw it away. There's got to be something else that I could do with the candy corn to put it to use, make it valuable. Hey there, folks, I have a question for you. What is the most hated and universally despised candy that you get in and around Halloween? And there may be various answers, but I think the most universal answer is going to be candy corn, right? You get this, I get this. For some reason, we all end up with candy corn around Halloween. Hmm. So, I've got my candy corn here went to my local discount store, and I bought your generic plastic ammo can. This is, a lot of times you'll buy ammo and it'll come in these cheap plastic cans, or you can just go to your local sporting goods store and you get these probably for around five bucks a piece. All right, simple generic plastic ammo can. What do I need, what did I coat it with? Now you guys know that I am a fan of Duracoat, but this isn't going to be around that long. So what I did instead was I picked up a can of Krylon and this is actually pumpkin orange. Yeah, how cool is that? So I've got pumpkin orange Krylon just for funsies. Do you have to paint it? No, you don't, but we're having a good time here. So we've got my, got my can, it looks like a pumpkin, all right? Next thing I got, I've got uh, orange duct tape. I'll need that later and this medium gray PVC cement. Hmm, what's he gonna do with that? And you can get this at any hardware store or what have you. Well, I tell you what I'm gonna do with it. So, we've got the can, I've got the PVC cement. You wanna do this in a well-ventilated area, kids. And kids, you shouldn't be doing this anyway. So I'm gonna prop this up here, and what's really kinda of cool about these plastic cans is when they molded them, they molded these supports in here, these little ledges, and that is gonna help us out for our next step. All right, so I'll take my PVC cement, and of course it has an applicator, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it on all over the place. Don't, don't worry about putting too much on. I don't think there's anything as, as too much. I'm gonna put it all over here. Up in there, up in there. Kind of spread it out. It's mixing with the paint because it's a chemical. All right, so there we go. Lots and lots and lots of cement adhesive all right there in my little, my rectangular area. And yes, I am wearing gloves so that I don't get that on me. Now, what do we do? Well, here comes the fun part. Woo! Yes, indeed. All right, get on there, get in there. Come on, there you go. Spread them out, you gotta, gotta get that candy corn down in there, into the adhesive, gotta get it into the, into the glue, into the cement. There we go. All right, now, now that that's in there, we're gonna have to leave it alone and we're gonna have to let it get hard. Okay, while we're waiting for the cement and the candy corn to dry, I told you I had a surprise. I've got a one gallon Ziploc bag. What am I gonna put in this one gallon Ziploc bag? Oh, look what I have here. This is the Shockwave Binary Exploding Target. And if you guys know anything about anything, you know that the binary exploding targets are two part. You have the white filler bulk material, and then you have the silver, uh, what is this, silver oxide, what have you, the silver material that you add. Binary meaning two parts. So, alone, these are inert and they don't do anything. What I'm gonna do, now could you fill this can completely with the shockwave material? Yes, you could. That would be a lot, and these aren't free. But if we use two of them, that should give us enough boom. So what am I gonna do? I already took the silver part out. I'm gonna put it in the bag here. Take this one, there's the lid, put it in the bag. Now what I will do is I will seal this bag up and when we get out to the field, when we get to where we're going, what we will do is we will unseal it I will mix the silver oxide into that 
shake it up really good. Remember the old shake and bake commercials? It's shake and bake and I helped. I'm gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it inside this can and with the assistance of a rifle, we're gonna do good things. Hey folks, we're out in the middle of nowhere, which is nice about where we live because we live in the middle of nowhere. I've got the candy corn claymore all set up on the inside. I have the binary agent secured. And since we had a gap, I went ahead and filled the gap with some basic generic cooking flour, white flour, and the rest of the candy corn. We're gonna set this out here, we're gonna set it off.